President Trump comes to us at a time when the ASEAN is celebrating 50 years of relative peace and prosperity, made possible by supportive external partners, including the United States. And if it is our shared ASEAN interest to keep our Asian-U.S. engagement close and to ensure that our strategic partnership delivers the best results for our peoples. At this juncture, Your Majesties and Excellencies, I would like to invite the President Trump to deliver his remarks. President Duterte, distinguished leaders, um, uh, friends and partners, I'm honored to represent the United States of America at this U.S. ASEAN commemorative summit. We gather today at a time of great promise and great challenge. I speak to you on behalf of 350 million Americans with a message of friendship and partnership. I'm here to advance peace to promote security and to work with you to achieve a truly free and open Indo-Pacific where we are proud and we have sovereign nations and we thrive and everybody wants to prosper. This year we mark 40 years of friendship and cooperation between the United States and this organization. It's a long time. I also want to congratulate ASEAN on 50 years of promoting peace and prosperity and stability in Southeast Asia and in the broader Indo-Pacific region. Rodrigo, I would like to commend you on your success as ASEAN Chair at this very critical moment in time and in the Association's history, such an important event. And I want to thank you for your incredible hospitality and the show last night, the talent at that show, I assume mostly from the Philippines, was fantastic. Thank you. And you were fantastic, also very much from the Philippines. We couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> I send the people of the Philippines warm greetings from the people of the United States. I also want to thank Prime Minister Najib of Malaysia for the excellent job you've done as uh, coordinator and I appreciate it very much. I really appreciate it. You have coordinated so well with us. For five decades, this organization has brought together a vital assembly of nations to build consensus on critical issues facing the region and the world. You have created a forum for all nations with a stake in the Indo-Pacific to listen, learn, and develop solutions to common challenges through strategic dialogue. The United States remains committed to ASEAN's central role as a regional forum for total cooperation. This diplomatic partnership advances the security and prosperity of the American people and the people of all Indo-Pacific nations. In recent decades, nations across the regions have built strong societies, robust economies, and vibrant communities of citizens. Really proud totally proud, always, of their heritage and confident in who they are. Today we celebrate your incredible success and we also seek economic partnerships on the basis of fairness and reciprocity. As the world knows, the United States, since our election on November 8th, has been moving ahead really brilliantly on an economic basis. We have the highest stock market we've ever had. We have the lowest unemployment in 17 years. Uh, the value of stocks has risen $5.5 trillion. And companies are moving into the United States. A lot of companies are moving. They're moving back. They want to be there. The enthusiasm levels are the highest ever recorded on the charts. So we're very happy about that, and we think that bodes very well for your region because of the relationship that we have. So we want our partners in the region to be strong, independent, and prosperous, in control of their own destinies, and satellites to no one. These are the principles behind our vision for a free and open Indo-Pacific. 
So again, I wish you all the best of luck. It's an honor to be here. And Rodrigo, thank you very much for the way you treated all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, at this juncture, uh, it uh, signifies the end of our open session, and I would like to request media to leave us alone. You may leave the room. Yeah. For 11 consecutive years, the World Economic Forum has ranked the Philippines first among Asian countries in closing the gender gap and embracing women leaders in business and in politics. The Kingdom of Thailand has become Hi, na po tayo. We're alive. Welcome, Miss Boca. Thank you very much. Ayam po. Hello po sa lapit. Hello po sa ating mga kababayan, mga kadiyes sa buong Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Ang dito po tayo yung sa bahin ng tito Joe. Bahin ng tito Joe. At nasaan tayo ngayon? Sa Dalang City, Vietnam. Dalang City, Vietnam. Ayan. Pakilala naman po tayo. Okay. Brian. I'm Brian. Bernard. Ako po si Josie Maharay. Alexis Kuku. Aleli po, kamusta po nanay ko, tatay ko. May po. Cheska. Cheska po, baby namin dito. It's my jam. I'm Philip. I'm Edwin po. I'm Ate Paula. Magpagayin na si Stella. I'm Lola Bobby. Hi, I'm Lovely. Ryan. Maverick po. Kamusta? Para may follow me. Hashtag na sa sumunod. Kamusta sa loob? Kamusta sa loob? Abangan po ninyo ang DDS podcast po natin, special edition. Kasama po ang mga kababayan natin dito sa Vietnam. At kagabi ay nakita nila si Tatal Digong. Tama po ba? Yes! So, um... Kamusta po yung experience na dinalaw ngayon yung tatay na napanood na siya nag-speech? Sobrang pang saya! 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 Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan sa Vietnam watching from Saudi Arabia. Ang saya-saya po ng mga kababayan natin dito sa Vietnam. Ayaw po. So, siguro po. Hawaan ko yan, sir. Yan, syempre. Syempre po narinig nyo si tatay na nagsalita kagabi. Eh, kayo naman po, short message na lang po para kay tatay. Tatay, um... Alam mo, starstruck pa rin ako hanggang sa kayo. Hindi na lang sinasabihin ko. Take care of your health. We love you. We will fight for you. Sinabi mo yan kagabi, we will fight for you. We will also fight for you. Tatay Likong, we will support you for everything. Lahat kami dito ng LOFW is we love you all. We love you, Tatay Likong. God bless you always. Maraming salamat po, Tatay Likong. Kahit po manayo kami, susuportahan namin kayo. Ayan, madam. Thank you so much kasi nang minute mo kami kagabi and lahat ng OFW para sa'yo. We love you. Thank you po for giving us our pride as a Pilipino and giving us hope na may pag-asa pa tayo to become a great nation again. Yes! Hello po, Tatay Digong. Maraming maraming salamat po at pinigyan nyo kami ng chance kagabi. And nandito lang po kami to support you. 
Ayan. So, thank you po sa ano, pagpapalakas po ng loob namin kahit na sumalayan po kami sa Pilipinas. Ayan. Tulong-tulong lang po tayo para sa pagbabago. Is it my turn? Naturalize. I'm sorry, I cannot speak Tagalog. But I can speak English a little. So, what can I tell for you, President Duterte? Uh, continue to fight for Philippines and Filipino. You're doing a great job. And uh, wish you good health and to run again after. <laughs> May kita. At ay digo ang salamat sa pagdating kagabi. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ate ba't umiiyak ka ate? Ba't ba't umiiyak ka? Ba't ito na iyak? Tumayo ka, tumayo ka, tumayo ka. Hindi po, hindi po. Kasi yung yung feeling na nakaharap namin siya kagabi, we were given the chance to see him mag-selfie, of course. Pero yung assurance na we will build a better Philippines for everybody, especially sa mga anak namin. Yeah. Anong pangalan ni Baby? Nasa likod? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Solid ka rin. Solid. Solid. Tatay Digong, kung may higit pa po sa salitang salamat, iyon na po yun. Maraming maraming salamat po from the bottom of our heart, from OFW, Filipino Community in the Nang. Salamat po muli. Salamat po sa pagdala mo sa amin sana. Manatili ang kalusugan ng pangatuan at matupad mo ang pangarap na pangarap mo po sa amin sa ating bansa. Yes. 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 Tatay Digong, thank you po. Nakasuporta po kami sa sa inyo sa paglaban sa korupsyon sa lahat-lahat po. Tatay Digong, kasalipan niyo po kami. Thank you very much po sa pagdalo niyo sa amin dito sa Pilipinas. Yes. Yes. Tatay, continue to fight for fight the, the drugs sa ating bansa. At umaasa kami na yung mga anak namin ay safe na dahil, dahil sa'yo. At saka continue your passion, your dedication, at lahat-lahat. Just be yourself hanggang matapos mo yung term mo. At sana nga, after six years, we will run again for president and we will vote for you again, tatay. Thank you. Yay! Uh, Tatay Digong, um, thank you very much for coming last night. Sabi mo na, so, um, we hope na uh, you take care of yourself because uh, whatever happens, we're always behind you and we're always going to support you. Uh, maraming salamat kay Mr. President Rodrigo Duterte. Talagang magandang experience na nakilala namin siya na meet uh, side to side. Oh. <laughs> Tapos at ito, lahat ng OFW nakasuporta sa'yo, pati kahit war on drugs mo, diretso lang supportado namin yan. Maraming salamat. Yes. Ayan, ang sabi po ng ating mga kababayan, uh, sabi ni Merlion Selimrov, wow, ang ganda ng mga mensahe ninyo. At ang mga kababayan natin naman sa Rome, Italy, sabi, God bless us all from Espanola Junior Cordero, Jimmy. At sabi po nila, maganda po yung inyong mensahe, nakakatouch daw po. At uh, tunay nga na napakaraming Pilipino ang nagtitiwala kay Tatay Digong. Yes, of course. 100%. Po, kaya po, kaya po, uh, syempre, di natin may iwasan na meron mga nag-ingay sa atin. Kakunti na lang sila, pero mas marami tayo. <laughs> no, mas, mas marami tahol kasi na umaga. Marami na kami kaaway sa ABS. Kasi unfair, biased, one-sided, lopsided na news. Sana we, we will look for a fair and balanced na news reporting. Yun lang naman. Hindi naman kailangan lopsided. Balance lang. Ayan po ang mensahe ni Sir para po sa mga mainstream media. Dahil nga po, hindi po ba ang, ang uh, tagumpay ni Pangulong Duterte, tagumpay po nating lahat yan. Yes. Kaya po, yes. sana po yung mga kaibigan natin sa media ay... Uh, Tama yung sinabi ni Sir, maging balanse. Balanse lang. Opo, at sana i-highlight ng media, no, yung mga magaganda na gusto. Oh, 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 o
Lagi na lang ano eh. Lagi na lang masama eh. Kung gusto nyo yung mas engagement nyo, maging balanse kayo. Maging balanse ang media. Yung mga kasama namin puti, pagka sabi po punta sa Pilipinas, akala nila mamamatay sila. Kasi sabi namin, hindi kayo mamamatay doon. Mas safe kayo ngayon. Mas safe kayo. Kaya sana naman. Yung sa international news na pinapanood. Tanggalin na natin ang pagkatalangka ng utak ng Pilipino. Yung pinapanood na international news. Ano daw si nung may DJ dito sa Pilipinas. Siyempre, ina-explain ko kay Pilipinas, hindi yung totoo, mananalo ba yan kung ano, kung may ganun ganun. We love him, kaya yan nanalo. We have many fake news. Fake news. Fake news. And nakakaitokan yung mga tao, tourism. Ma'am, mensahe nyo na lang po. Hindi, tama po eh. Sa ating mga sa ating mga ano, kapwa Pilipino na nasa media, mensahe nyo na lang po. Kung ano yung na-experience nyo bilang na nakatira po sa ibang bansa, kung ano yung epekto ng mga negatibong balita patungkol sa bansa po natin? Um, kasi po, kami po yung nasa labas. Kung baga kami nasa gyera. Ngayon, sa ginagawa nila, ang ganda na kasi ng laban namin eh. Yung mga antas na tingin sa amin ng mga tao dito, skill, magagaling ang mga Pilipino. Ang problema, lagi nilang nababalitaan yung pangit, pangit, pangit. So, akala nila, ang Pilipinas, mamamatay sila pag pumunta. Sabi namin, hindi maganda ang Pilipinas. Talaga lang kami ngayon is nasa transition period na inaayos namin ang lahat-lahat. Later on, hahanga kayo sa susunod na ganda ng Pilipinas. Yes! Kaya po, ayan, abangan po ang special edition ng DDS Podcast. Kaya, oh, sorry pa, solid! Solid! Do their day! Troll, ang supporter ni Pangulong Duterte. Yes! Sorry na lang kayo. Ako kami, hindi kami robot. Hindi kami robot. Yung kaawing namin kanina, puro robot. Ayan po. Sige po, so sige po. Ayan po, at kaya na rin po tayo. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! Mabuhay! Mabuhay ang mga Pilipino! Mabuhay! Ha ha ha!